always within arm's reach, our smartphones. They're at the centre of our lives. But what we don't see is the harm they cause the planet. A new smartphone produces about 85 kilograms of CO2, a drop in the world's annual emissions, 40 billion tonnes in 2023. Except there are currently over 6 billion smartphone subscriptions. Suddenly, that drop is a lot bigger. Apple and Samsung, the largest manufacturers, produced a combined total of 35 million tonnes of CO2 in 2022. A higher carbon footprint than 100 countries have. Inside our phones are precious metals, some blasted from the earth in open cast mines, ravaging natural ecosystems. Then there's the battery. Lithium requires intensive chemical processing. These chemicals leak, polluting waterways and poisoning wildlife. Chemicals have been found in fish 150 miles downstream from a lithium processing operation. Making a smartphone needs a lot of water. Apple used over 150 billion gallons in 2022, with more than a third of their supply coming from places at risk of running dry. At the end of their short lives, our old phones are discarded, dropped in a drawer or landfill. 5.3 billion phones became e-waste in 2022. Every year, a new model is released. Companies spending billions on marketing, pushing us to buy, 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 to upgrade. But do we really need a phone that's a bit better than the one we've already got? And can the earth afford it? We can choose a better way, keep them longer, get them repaired and buy a refurbished or environmentally friendly phone when we need to. A refurbished phone produces a tenth of the CO2. Let's upgrade our home, not our phones. Don't buy into the icon.